poison cowgirls that are coming from across the United States as well as Canada mm -hmm. are actually chasing world championship points. Their goal is to make it to Guthrie, Oklahoma next January okay. and be one of the top 15 and leave there the world champion. My goodness, so the ones that we see at this one this weekend, some of these may end up being a world champion. Absolutely, we, we will actually see some current or former world champions uh -huh. here this oh, wow. weekend, and uh, we'll probably see some rookie of the years as well. That is fantastic. And I mean, the competitors that you have, do they come from all over the country? Absolutely, and mm -hmm. what's really unique is uh, the Kentucky, West Virginia, and Virginia area is really a hotbed of great rodeo talent. So you'll see a lot of cowboys from this tri-state area mm -hmm. up throughout the weekend competing and uh, hoping to go home uh, with that top prize. Oh my goodness, that is exciting. Okay, so what special things do you have for the kids? So the kids, we actually have something really unique. It's called mutton busting. On Friday and Saturday night, uh, we will take the first 10 that register at the building uh -huh. between four and six and under 50 pounds. Okay. Uh, we will take them down We'll actually get them a vest and a hel helmet, just uh -huh. like our bull riders do. Yep, so they'll we're be safe. They will be. Uh -huh. And we're going to put them inside that bucking chute, just like it was a bull. They're going to be on top of that sheep. We're going to open that chute gate, Turn and loose. they're going to go flying oh, through the my arena. Goodness. I feel like a lot of the professional riders that we've talked with yeah. over the years, a lot of them tell us that's kind of where they got where their they start. Started, yeah. Where it, it kind of piqued their interest. It is. Uh, mutton busting is a huge process. A lot of uh, contestants will get started when they're really young yeah. on the back of those, and then they'll move on up to steers and then, then to bulls. Uh -huh. So it's, it's just a learning process of yeah. starting to get that balance and get that leg position early on. Yeah, hanging on there. I mean, if they had a sheep big enough, I would do it. I would love to. Well, <laughs> we can always look at a bull. You've already, oh, no, 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 no. You've already got your hat. I've got that as one part already. of it. <laughs> I thought that the clowning part might be better suited for me. Remind everybody how to get tickets. I guess you, there are tickets still available. Uh, absolutely. We've uh, sold out the last uh, two years on Friday, or excuse me, on Saturday night, uh -huh. and been close on Friday nights. Tickets are available for Friday and Saturday night currently at Ticketmaster.com, yep. as well as the Appalachian Wireless box office. Uh -huh. We do tell people, please, please, please do not purchase tickets from anywhere outside of those because we cannot guarantee whether they are right. good. That's a good reminder. Well, Kevin, you're always a lot of fun stopping by. So thanks for what you all are bringing into town. Hey, absolutely. We, about it. we thank you folks and um, we thank the community for coming out and supporting such a show. Yeah, that is it's great. always a good time. Kevin, thank you so much. Thank you, ladies.